A peripheral nerve block is the injection of local anesthetic or numbing medication near the nerves in the area of the body that is undergoing surgery. The medication blocks pain signals from the nerves and causes a numbing of the surgical area. The goal of the nerve block is to relieve pain after an operation and in doing so, reduce the amount of pain medications you will require after surgery. Taking less pain medication may decrease the risk of side effects such as drowsiness, nausea, and constipation, which are often associated with these medications. Peripheral nerve block catheters are commonly placed for shoulder and knee surgeries. The nerve block procedure is performed in the preoperative block room area immediately prior to transferring the patient to the operating room. The nerve block may be done as a single injection or, for certain surgeries, the anesthesiologist may insert a small plastic nerve block catheter at the site to allow the continuous delivery of the local anesthetic after surgery. The procedure is done with ultrasound guidance under sterile conditions. Local anesthetic is injected at the skin and some sedation may be given to minimize any discomfort associated with the nerve block catheter insertion. At the end of surgery, the catheter will be connected to an infusion pump or portable infuser bottle to continue the delivery of local anesthetic for pain relief. The nerve block catheter should comfortably stay in place for two to three days after surgery. Patients may go home with the infuser bottle, which will automatically continue to deliver the medication. Inside the bottle is a balloon that contains the local anesthetic. The balloon will gradually deflate as the medication is slowly delivered. The bottle empties very slowly and will not be noticeable to you, but don't worry, the medication is flowing. When the infuser is empty, the balloon will shrink down to the center of the bottle. An anesthesiologist will call your home every day while the nerve block is in place to ensure that the device is working properly and managing your pain. To make sure there is a constant flow of medication, the infuser bottle device should be kept close to the body in the supply carrying case and any kinking of the tubing should be avoided. While the nerve block catheter is in place, you may not be able to fully feel or move your arm or leg depending on the site of your surgery. During this time, care should be taken when moving your affected limb as it may be numb and the muscles may be weaker due to the block. Follow your surgeon's instructions on movement and weight bearing after surgery. Even if the catheter is working well, it is normal to still have some pain after surgery. Your surgeon will give you a prescription for pain medications to take by mouth, which you can take in addition to the nerve block if the pain is severe. To reduce the risk of the catheter being accidentally dislodged, please keep the device and the catheter insertion site dry and avoid pulling on the catheter. Do not shower or bathe until the catheter is removed. To reduce the risk of infection, if the bottle or catheter becomes disconnected, do not reattach it. If the catheter becomes discontinued, it may need to be removed early. While the nerve block catheter is in place, there may be some fluid drainage or scant blood seen at the catheter site, which is normal. If there is leaking of fluid at the insertion site, apply some gauze or a clean towel to soak up the fluid, and if needed, reinforce the dressing with tape or band-aids. If the leaking becomes a big problem where the dressing has peeled off and the catheter has slipped out, then the nerve block catheter may need to be discontinued early. On the third day, the infuser bottle balloon will be fully deflated and empty. You can remove the catheter at home. You do not need to come to the hospital. To remove the nerve block catheter, first clean your hands with soap and water. Lift the tape and clear dressing off the catheter insertion site. Hold the nerve block catheter and gently pull it straight out. It should come out smoothly and without any discomfort. The catheter may be several centimeters deep. Look for the black colored tip to confirm the end of the catheter is out. It is normal to see a small amount of blood or fluid drainage at the insertion site. If needed, apply pressure over the site for five to 10 minutes, then apply a Band-Aid. The Band-Aid may be removed later the same day. Throw the dressing, the pump, the tubing, and the catheter into the garbage. Clean your hands again with soap and water. If you continue to have pain after the catheter is removed, take the oral pain medication prescribed as needed. You should start to have feeling back in your arm or leg within 12 to 24 hours after the catheter is removed. Nerve block catheters are a safe and very effective form of pain management. However, as with any procedure, there's always a small risk of bleeding, infection, 
damage to surrounding structures, or side effects from the local anesthetic. Please let your anesthesiologist know if there is significant redness, tenderness, swelling, or drainage at the nerve block site, or if the catheter becomes dislodged or disconnected from the infuser bottle. Remember, your anesthesiologist will call you every single day while your catheter is in. If necessary, there is an emergency phone number provided on the patient handout sheet if you need to speak with an anesthesiologist on call after hours. Please only use this number in case of emergency. Call the anesthesiologist or go to the emergency department if you experience ringing in your ears, metallic taste in your mouth, tingling around your face or mouth, significant shortness of breath, or if your arm or leg is still very numb more than 24 hours after you remove the catheter. With the nerve block catheter infusion, we hope to improve your pain relief after surgery and the overall recovery experience. Please speak with your anesthesiologist or surgeon if you have further questions about the nerve block program.